You are watching DIY by Nikki Foster. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but finally I'm back with part two of the school year makeover. So if you're wondering where I've been, if you follow me on IG, you'll see that I was traveling with my family this summer and then we went to Disney, Universal Studios. I also visited California with my mom and sisters. Then we went back to the East Coast to visit Georgia to see some other family. So I've been quite busy this summer. And one more big announcement, we are starting a channel for my son, Amor. He wants his own YouTube channel. You guys seen him help me out in different videos all over my channel when I'm doing my DIY projects. So now he wants to start his own. It is going to be called Amor's Fun Adventures. And if you guys want to support him, please subscribe. It will really help us out. And I'll make sure I put the link in the description box below. Thank you. And let's get started with this video. I headed to Home Depot to pick up a few supplies from the day before. I always get questions on which black paint I'm using. This is what it's called. It's literally called Black by Bear and I'm using it in a semi-gloss finish. I also pick up Crud Cutter, which I've been wanting to try, and Plastic Wood in the color white. Then I check out and head home. Here's just a reminder of what the foyer used to look like. It has gone through quite a few iterations from when I first bought the house. Then I made a few changes like painting, then I painted the staircase and finally swapped out the floor table to the shoe cabinet. And I do have both the staircase makeover and the IKEA shoe cabinet hack already up on my channel. So if you're looking to make similar changes, those videos will be in the description box below. To begin this foyer transformation, I start by removing everything from the space. There wasn't much to move, so that part was really easy. And because I like to clean as I go, I also swept the floor. Also, please like this video and subscribe to my channel as it really does help me out. Since we normally use doors to just literally go in from one threshold to the next, we don't realize how much dust and debris actually builds up on them. Um, it's something I've noticed kind of like recently when I'm deciding to paint the doors. So I'm actually gonna be using something called Crud Cutter to clean them. Normally I use that water, vinegar, and Dawn detergent um, mixture to clean my surfaces and stuff, especially before painting. So um, I'm actually trying something new this time. This is gonna, this is called Crud Cutter. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I like that it's like non-toxic and no harsh chemicals in it. So I am gonna be trying this out. Um, so yeah, there you go. I use Crud Cutter to spray the door surfaces and the entire door since I noticed a lot of dust on them. I used a sponge with it and I was able to use the scouring side when there was a lot of buildup, especially by the doorknobs. This stuff actually worked better than I expected and because I liked it so much, I may try to use it on a future cabinet project or something. Also, I'll make sure I put a link to this product in the description box below. And now I'm just covering the IKEA shoe cabinet so that no paint gets on it by accident. Also, if you guys are interested in learning how I hack this shoe cabinet, I do have a full tutorial on my channel, which I'll link in the description box below. And one final step for prepping, I'm just removing the doorknob from all the doors. For the doors, I'm using black paint, a four inch roller tray, and a two inch paintbrush. I start by painting the inset detail of the door using the paintbrush, and then I use the roller brush for the flat parts of the door. Here's a quick look at the first coat of the black paint onto the doors. You can tell it's a little blotchy, but I'm going to let this dry and move on to the other doors. So I actually used the same method when I painted the other doors. And I have to admit that painting the doors was actually really easy. I was like procrastinating on getting this project done, probably because of I knew I had so much to paint. The four inch roller brush really allowed me to get those smooth results without making a mess. Whew, so I painted three doors, the first side, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside of the powder room. When you're painting a door that's like, I don't know, like a, I guess like a main part of the house, like when people go in and out of the bathroom all the time, you're gonna be able to see this white trim and it's gonna look a little weird. So yeah, I kinda like the door all being one color if possible, so I mean, I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. Painting the inside of the bathroom door is not a must. It's just my personal choice and it actually made my bathroom look really nice with the offset color. I quickly covered up the coats in the coat closet with leftover drop cloths so I wouldn't have to move them out and then I painted the inside of the closet too. Good morning. It is day two of this foyer makeover project. I went and checked all the doors and stuff. Everything looks really good so I don't need to do any more coats of the black. 
So I'm actually just gonna get started on the trim. I picked up this tray from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using this two inch angle brush that I already had around the house. A piece of wood chipped on the door frame, so I'm just using the plastic wood to fill in the spot. I add a little onto the spade and then squeeze some more into the spaces where needed. I also add a little bit more at a time and smooth it out with the spade until everything looks even with the rest of the door frame. I let that dry until it's hard. I painted the trim around the doors ultra pure white. It is already white, but there were a few things that when you looked up close, you can totally tell it needed to be painted. The two inch angle brush came in handy when I had to cover up some of the black paint I had gotten onto the inside of the bathroom door frame. So I painted in an up and down motion, making sure not to get any white paint onto the freshly painted black doors. Finally, the plastic wood dried on the door frame, so I sanded it down with 320 grit sandpaper. Then I used tack cloth to catch any dust or debris from that. Then I finished painting the frame with ultra pure white. Next, I painted the floor trim in ultra pure white as well. I also went over the brown corner rounds. This is something that I have been wanting to do for a while. I felt like it would really help to brighten up the foyer and make it look really clean and polished. There was also these weird faux wood panels at the bottom of the paneled windows. I definitely painted those too. I did need about two coats on that because the wood was showing through the white. I also forgot to mention that the ultra pure white has paint and primer in it. So I did not use primer. I just used two coats of the paint and I made sure to add the knobs back onto the doors. I was on the fence about painting the front door black, but after I painted the other doors, I thought it would really make the entrance pop, so I just went for it, and I'm glad I did because I feel like it really makes the entrance look really elegant and classy and just different than what I had before. Well, I'll be right back. Today I'm at Hobby Lobby hunting for a mirror. Last night I had a mirror fiasco, and I'll tell you about it another time. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'll tell you about it right now. This is what happened. Armor etch. So I wanted to create an etch look on my mirror, but when I wiped off the etching cream, it was so blotchy. It did not look good. The problem with armor etch is that it does not come off and it is intended for small projects, which I didn't realize till later. Fortunately, I was able to find another solution to create an etched look for this mirror project. So make sure you are subscribed because I'm gonna show this full tutorial in another video. So yeah, back to Hobby Lobby. The stars ended up aligning for me that day when I found a mirror for 90% off and the original price was 220, but I got it for 22 bucks. To finish up the foyer, I got a new washable rug from offline. It made a lot of sense to have a washable rug in the foyer because it's the main entrance and it's also where we put all of our shoes and stuff. I also got a new rug pad because I just felt kind of weird about using the old one. I also got a few decor pieces from Home Goods, like these clear candle holders and some white Santa candles to go inside of them. And I picked up these blue and white floral vases that I thought made a nice contrast to the space. And I also had a few decor pieces from around the house, but I was able to repurpose them in this space. Finally, I swapped out the knobs on the shoe cabinet for these gold loop knobs. I think the gold loops make it look a little bit more custom and it also complements the round mirror. I had to hunt for these, so if you've been looking for these too, I'll be sure to link these in the description box below. So I was able to remove the other mirror, get the new one cleaned off, and get it hung back up. And this is what the foyer looked like before, before it looked like a plain builder grade entrance cluttered with so many shoes. And here is what the foyer looks like now. It is so much more stylish, modern, and fresh. Before I had tons of shoes all over and the wood table didn't really match my style. And now the foyer has so much more character. Just by painting the doors and customizing the shoe cabinet, it really helped to add a lot to the space. I am just so in love with the way the foyer looks now. The black doors really set the tone for like this elegant, statement I was trying to make. I love the new decor in the space. It really just adds just enough without going overboard. Um, also for the flowers, I do have a video on how to arrange these specific flowers. So if you guys are looking for an easy DIY flower arrangement, I have that on my channel already. As you can see, just by making a few small changes to, to the decor and accessories, it can really change the way a room feels. If this video inspired you in any way, please like this video and drop a comment in the comment box letting me know. So that is it for this for your makeover. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video inspired you to kind of tackle your own project that might have been on the back burner. As you can see, just painting the doors really set this 
foyer to a whole new level. So I'm excited that I finally got around to this project. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at It's Nicole Foster and check out my website, DIYbyNikkiFoster.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Amor's channel. It's called Amor's Fun Adventures. And again, I will have his link to his new channel in the description box below. So foyers really set the tone for the home as soon as you walk in. And I really did like doing this video quite a lot. So I am going to be planning on doing a few more of these foyer styling tips and tricks that I'll be sharing with you. I am going to figure out how to do that mirror trick. So make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel because that will be coming up shortly. I didn't get to do one on this video, but I'm going to be doing it on a new video. So um, if that is something that you're interested in seeing, make sure you are subscribed and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for all your support and watching my videos. Thank you. See you later. Peace. Um, what was I going to say? No, I'm about to record one more time. Um, but it's all good. I'm powering through and I'm going to keep moving. Everybody in the video, give mommy one billion and a thousand subscribers. See you later, alligators. Thank you.